Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome to this series of binary option videos. Hi everyone, today I will explain to you a strategy that we collaborated with one of my members to set up for binary option. I present this strategy on the 5 minute chart, but the 15 minute is also a good choice, little more accurate, but with lower amount of opportunities. For this strategy, we will use four elements. The first is the envelope. Period 5, exponential, apply to close. The deviation can be 0 0.04, is 0 0.06, because it's adapted to the chart of 5 minutes. You will need to adjust this deviation, depending on the chart, for it to engulf the extreme point, like this, and setting the envelope you should already have a nice percentage of win rate when the price is outside and reverse nicely. Here for example, that's the first step. The second indicator is a moving average. This one is 25 period exponential apply to close and it's my white line on my chart. This will help you to define the trend. The third indicator is a pivot point indicator. So for this one, when we trade the 5 minute chart, we need to set the time period to H1, which means it will take its value from the candlestick from the 1 hour chart. We let the other parameter in this way. Then the last indicator I place is this one, hard levels. I let the default settings and it's one of the best support and resistance automatic indicators that I have found so far. That's why I just put it in. But if you have a nice support and resistance indicator, it can do the same work. And I have also a little big clock modified here. It is to tell you how many times remain on the actual candlestick. All of those indicators can be downloaded from a link below this video. If you use the 15 minute chart, you will need to change some settings. You need to change the envelope deviation from 0 0.06 to 0 0.1 and you adapt a little more, a little less, depending on the currency pair also. And you have to change the pivot point. The pivot point should be from the 4 hour candle, not the 1 hour. All the other indicators stay the same. Now let's go to how works the strategy. The first element you have to take care of if the, is the EMA. If the EMA is up, you will take call option only. And if the EMA goes in the downside direction, you will take put trades only. The second thing you need to wait is for the price to get outside of the band. Like here, here, and here. So this one is not a good trade because it's against the trend. Now let's look at the entry. So the entry you can make, for example, when the market is flat, I mean when the EMA is like that, horizontal, you can take in both direction. And the criteria is so outside of the band and touching a pivot point like that outside and touching the pivot point, this one. And you enter in an aggressive way when it touches this level with this red candle and the expiration will be the end of this candle right here, which is a winning one for this one. So other example, it was outside the band and it touched not a pivot point but a hard level. Same case happen here. You will take this trail and the expiration will be the end of this candle. When the EMA is flat, that's what you do. This is the aggressive way. You enter exactly when it touches the level. The conservative way will be to wait for the candle to touch the level but you don't enter you wait for it to make a nice wick like that and you enter at the end of the candle and the expiration will be the end of the next candle this will be the expiration right here 
This is the conservative way. You don't enter when it touches the level. You wait for the price to make a nice week. And if you see a nice week, there you go. But the body of the candle should close very near the level. If it closes quite far from the level, the price has a chance to come back to it later on. And if the candle closes very near, you will have a nice entry and you have good probability of success for this specific trade. As money management, I always recommend to use 2% maximum of your account size. And that's the end of this specific strategy. To summarize quickly, if the EMA is strongly in one direction or the other, you follow the trend. If the EMA is nearly flat, you can trade in both directions. Second element, you wait the price to be outside the envelope. And when it's outside the envelope, you enter when it touch a pivot point or a support and resistance if you trade in an aggressive way. If you want to be conservative, you wait for the candle to make a nice week rejecting the level and closing very near the level. And that's your entry at the end of the candle. And expiration is always the end of the next candle after the first touch. Comment below or ask me on Facebook or Telegram if you have any question. We are at the end of this tutorial. Please like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any question. Feel free also to share it on your Facebook, Twitter or Google+. I hope you enjoy. Bye!